The scale of justice will be broke before man. Now you shall have to explain your whole lifespan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome back again, brothers and sisters in Islam. We are still trying to experience and live the conditions of the people in the earth where the gathering, the greatest assembly ever will take place. People are standing for too long, but their conditions are different. The believers are enjoying the comfort. The duration is not as long as it was worth it. Also, they are feeling the security. At the same time, the disbelievers are standing under the heat of the sun that is only one mile away from them. Also, they are soaking in their sweat based on their deeds in this world. The tyrant brothers and sisters in Islam amongst them will be listened in size. They will be belittled in size. They will have the size of an ant. And by all the sudden, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command for the hellfire to be brought into the place of gathering. And then the hellfire will be brought to the land where they are standing, the reddish white land where they are standing for too long. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described for us the condition and the way that the hellfire is feeling in a hadith that is recorded by Imam Muslim rahimahullah min hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said yu'ta bi jahannam laha sab'una alfa zimam li kulli zimam sab'una alfa malakin malakin yajurunaha ya Allah the hellfire will be brought into the place of gathering and it will have 70,000 leashes, ropes. With each rope, there are 70,000 angels holding the hellfire down because the hellfire is so angry because of the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so angry at the disbelievers on this day. Brothers and sisters in Islam, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ سَبَقَتْ لَهُمْ مِنَّ الْحُسْنَىٰ أُولَٰئِكَ عَنْهَا مُبْعَدُونَ those who were righteous and pious, they will not feel that anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because right before the break, we shared with you that the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this day, 99 portions were spared for the believers on this day in order to give them the comfort that they need. Brothers and sisters in Islam, all of mankind are standing for that long. Again, the conditions of the believers is different to the conditions of the disobedient of the Muslims, to the condition of the Kafirs, of those who disbelieved in Allah. Even those who did righteous deeds, who did good deeds. في Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith Aisha radiyallahu anha, Adi ibn Hatim al-Ta'i radiyallahu an Adi, who became a Muslim, his father Hatim al-Ta'i, was very knowing of his generosity in Jahiliyyah. He came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he told him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, my father was so generous. He used to light a fire in the desert in order to attract the traveler, in order for him to basically uh, ha give them hospitality. He, he used to have dogs just calling upon the people to come. He is asking the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O oh, Messenger of Allah, Will my father get anything good out of this? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells Adi ibn Hatim radiyallahu anh who became a Muslim that your father got what he wanted be from doing what he did which is uh, being named and being called in earth as a generous person. You see, uh, because a lot of Muslims are tackled with the fact that there are non-Muslims out there who are doing good deeds. And now they doubt, Akhi, sister, 
وقدمنا إلى ما عملوا من عمل فجعلناه هباء منثورا whatever they done in order for your deed to be accepted there must be a notarization that notarization is لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله you must do this for Allah سبحانه وتعالى if you are doing it for the dunya because a lot of people will say يا أخي you want to tell me Einstein and Newton and all those people who did all these good things for humanity will they still suffer in the day of resurrection suffer in the graveyard suffer in, 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 in go to the hellfire Brothers and sisters in Islam, we are not here to judge anybody, but we are told as Muslims that in order for your, for your deeds to be accepted, you must be a Muslim. If you do not become a Muslim, that deed will not be accepted. La ilaha illallah is the notarization for the deed. Now, you must do the deed sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and if the deed is ritualistic, you must do it according to the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this is how your deed will be accepted. Now, in the condition, look at Adi ibn, Abi, Adi ibn Hatim, the one who just quoted, he has a beautiful hadith, and his hadith in the two sahih, al-Bukhari wa Muslim, he said, رضي الله عنه, that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, ما منكم من أحد إلا سيكلمه ربه ليس بينه وبينه ترجمان. There is none of you but Allah سبحانه وتعالى will speak to. Between, uh, without any translator, without anybody in between you and Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Look at this. فينظر أيمن منه فلا يرى إلا ما قدم. He will look to his right and he will only see the deeds that he did in this world. The result of these deeds. وينظر أشأم منه and he will look to his left and he will only see the deeds that he uh, did. And then look at this. ثم ينظر بين يديه and then he will look in front of you. فلا يرى إلا النار. And he will only see the hellfire that was brought to the place of gathering. فاتقوا النار ولو بشق تمرة. Fear the hellfire. Protect yourself from the hellfire, even with giving charity the size of half a date. Brothers and sisters in Islam, with this mankind, the disobedient, and the disbelievers have been suffering. They've been standing for too long, soaking in their sweat. It's so crowded. The sun is so hot. The hellfire right in front of them. There is no relief. The disbelievers. There is no relief. They decided to do something about it. You know what they did? Now they remembered that in earth, in this life, there were people called prophets and messengers who somehow talked to them about these things. Ya Allah. You see, right now, we, you go to them, and you call them to Islam, they mock you. They call you this name, and they make fun out of you, and they label you. They label the messengers. They call them liars. They call them sorcerers. They call them magicians. Now the disbelievers and the disobedient will seek the messengers, will go to them in order for the messengers and the prophets to intercede before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once the messengers were calling them to Islam, were calling them to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, were calling them to become slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they reacted like little gods walking in earth. Now, they are recognizing the messengers. Ya Allah, they will go through each messenger asking them, to intercede before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not for them to go to Jannah. No. They are asking the messengers and the prophets to intercede in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to the place of gathering where they are standing for that long and in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to judge between them. And this hadith called Hadith al-Shafa'ah, a famous hadith in the Sunnah, the hadith is recorded by Imam al-Bukhari wa Muslim and others. Hadith Abi Huraira, Abi Sa'id and other companions who, who narrated this hadith. But inshallah because the hadith is lengthy and I really want to take my time 
explaining this hadith to you because it means whole a lot. I want to close this episode with this fact that all the messengers will be saying myself, myself, myself. All of them. And all of them will be seeking security. They, they, they will be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them security. Allahumma sallim sallim. Allahumma sallim sallim. And they will become so concerned because of things that they did and Allah forgiven them. Allah has accepted the repentance. And they are so concerned because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so angry on this day. He has never been angry like this before and he will never be angry like this afterwards. And all of them will deliver the people to the next messenger until they reach the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And there he will tell them, I am for it, I am for it. I am the one who will intercede for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him to come and judge between us. And that is where the Imam Muslim, rahimahullah, compiled hadith Abi Hurairah, radiallahu anhu, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I am the first one who will rise from earth. Awwalu man tanshaqu, the earth will split and I will come out. And I am the first one who will intercede before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ana awwalu shafi' wa awwalu mushaffa'. And the first one whose intercession will be accepted. You know why I'm saying this? Because you remember the people who are making cartoons out of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? <clears throat> these magazines and newspaper they are making fun they are mocking Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam those are the same people who will be begging him to intercede cartoon makers you will beg Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the day of resurrection to intercede to relieve you from your agony and from the sweating and from the pain that you're going through you better heed the call and say la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah till the next episode with hadith al-shafa'ah which will lead to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descending in a way that fits him and a reckoning will begin till the next episode of the inevitable journey assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the scale of justice will be broke before man Now you shall have to explain your whole lifespan